Gamma is usually used for color contrast. But when you contrast the image, color and brightness will be off from the original value. Then you might need to balance the saturation, multiply or gain to match the color integration that you have done before. So Gamma Plus gives you more options to contrast the image but lock the existing color and mid-tone. Gamma Plus works as normal color integration nodes. You can choose the channels you want to apply, input mask and mix. Compatible with the different math in color correct node and grade node. Those can be chosen under the method use and knob. And I will explain the difference later in this video. Here is the setup to compare the difference of regular Gamma and Gamma Plus. Without any specific setting, Gamma Plus works as normal Gamma. You will find that the image gets more saturated, darker, and more pink overall. Gamma Plus has a set pivot option. So it can lock the color as a Gamma's pivot. Use Color Picker, hold down Ctrl and Alt key to sample input color value. Now, no matter how I change the Gamma, color and brightness are already set on the pivot. RGB and HSB remain unchanged on the sampled pixel. The color looks more natural now. Especially if you check out the water, sand, houses on screen right, white rock in the center. When reducing the contrast, the haze color also fits into the environment without color shifts. Gamma Plus also provided an option to apply on luminance. The gamma value applies to the brightness under HSV color space. To avoid affecting hue and saturation. If you find some area overexposed, hold Ctrl, Shift and Alt keys to set average input value for the pivot. The tool has a tips button at the bottom. If you immigrated the contrast setting from color correct node, you can use the value provided. Set pivot to 0.18, which is a mid-gray value. Checked reverse. Now Gamma Plus works as color corrects contrast value. This is how Gamma Plus basically works. Next part, I am going through the inside of the tool. This is a linear ramp setup, lowest value is minus 2.5, highest value is 2.5. Let's pull out a gamma node and only apply it on the red channel. So the green and blue channel is the linear curve without gamma applied. After a couple changes, you can see that gamma pivot is on 1. This time I pull out the grade node and apply it on the green channel. Blue channel still remains as a linear ramp. Between 0 to 1, the gamma and grade have the same gamma result, but after 1, they go differently. Gamma node has exponential growth, grade node has linear growth. Let's pull out the color correct node this time and apply it on the blue channel. You will find that gamma and color correct nodes have the same result. Grade has its own different result after 1.0. So that's why gamma plus has different methods of gamma options. What is this effect on image processing? Gamma and color correct have a mathematical correct gamma, but the result will make the white point with a huge value. In grade node, 
After 1.0, the gamma formula will be replaced by multiply. This can avoid super high value pixels. Let me pull out one of the examples with gamma plus. I set the pivot on one of the trees. Select the color correct gamma method, then apply the gamma value. The sky is overexposed. The sky looks better when I switch to the grade method. So in some cases, grades gamma helps with bright value. After understanding 1.0 is the pivot of gamma, then you will understand how set pivot works in this tool. In Nuke, there is a hidden color correct node from an earlier stage. Hit X and type C correct to pull this node out. You can see that it is using mid-gray value for the contrast. Contrast is operated in the opposite method than gamma, so that's why you have to check reverse. Then gamma plus will operate as the same result as contrast in color correct. And you are still able to set a custom pivot. Apply on luminance with these options. For more details of the algorithm of these integration nodes, check my Facebook page of my sharing. Links in description. Enjoy!